So I'm assuming all the noise we hear in the background, that's where the action happens? Yes, sir. All right, so we should probably take Yeah, let's go to there. there. All right, let's go. Where the action happens, because that's exactly where we were, the manufacturing facility for Airflow Research. Now, the process by which heads are made, however, isn't that simple. Or is it? What we learned is that there are seven specific steps that heads go through before they're ready to be shipped out. And while there are in fact more complicated than we're going to describe, the following will give you an idea of what must happen before you go ahead and slap a set of heads atop that short block of yours. Step one, the raw castings come from the foundry to AFR's manufacturing facility located in Southern California. Step two, the castings are then placed on a four axis CNC machine where all the flat surfaces are machined and holes for things like the spark plugs, head bolts, accessory bolt holes, amongst others, are then drilled and tapped into the still rough heads. Step three, once that's complete, the heads then head to a five axis CNC machine where the port work for the intake, exhaust runners, and the chambers are completed. Step four, the heads are then carted off to another room for a CNC valve job. Step five, a pressure check is then completed, which checks the integrity of the casting to make sure all ports are properly sealed and to ensure the heads perform as designed. Step six, from there, the heads go to a specialty washroom where they're cleaned and then readied for final assembly. Lastly, step seven. Once cleaned, the heads then go to an AFR technician where they are assembled completely by hand to the customer's order specifications. Then, once that's done, they are properly boxed and readied for shipment. <laughs>